Hey everybody, it's Steve. I'm uh, I'm back and um, I, I finished the uh, the tumbler uh, cup turner build, but I had a couple of folks that did not catch the electrical part of it, and I told them I would do a recap on the uh, how to wire the uh, the motor and your switches. So I'm going to try to I got it set up really close and. Uh, First, I'll do just your basic. If you're going to do just a one cup turner, it's so simple. Um, but anyway, here we go, and I hope hope y'all get it. Let's see if I can get this camera right here where you can see it. Let me lower it a little. Okay. All right. Okay, basically this is uh this is the cord that comes with the kit has the switch doesn't matter if you have this switch and your toggle switch for your each motor now if you're going to i'm just gonna throw that over there basically what i do i i'll drill a hole push this in the back of the turner and pull out what i need and then i'll just tie a knot on the inside so it doesn't pull out okay all right and you can if you want to be fancy you can get one of the the little guard things I don't think you really need it um, I just stick it in there and uh, tie the knot so it doesn't pull out if you move the turner okay you basically it's simple you got two hot wires okay if you're doing a if you want to just use the switch on the cord that's fine you can just wire it just like this just like this you can hell yeah, that's not going to stay together let me I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it to where I can twist it together real quick so that it doesn't come apart while I'm trying to show you it's very simple once you get it figured out and then I'll show you how to do it putting a switch on Okay, if you're going to use the switch off of the cord, which is kind of, I, my first one, that's what I did. But it is better to have the switch on your turner. It's easier. You don't have to worry about the cord being in your way when you're working. Okay. This setup here. Ah. Basically, you wire these two together. And that's it. Okay, that's if you're using the switch on the cord. That's you can't get no simpler than that. Okay, the trick is knowing how the switch works. Okay, we're going to put a switch on it. You're most likely going to have to extend your wires. I used. Uh, you can twist it together and get the wire nuts. That's fine, and then put electrical tape on it. I preferred connectors. Let me show you. If I can find them show you what I used to extend my wires so they reach because when I put the cord in the middle of the turner I use these little wire connectors but if you use these you really need a pair of crimpers because if you don't if you just try to squeeze it with pliers they never work right this is designed to where it crimps it to where it's not going to come loose these are uh, wire nut uh, connector crimpers, okay? You really should get some of these if you want to use these, all right? Otherwise, you can just use a, a wire nut, okay? That's easy way. Okay, how the switch works, it doesn't really matter which wire goes where, as long as you have, you know, it's not like you're hooking up uh, 220 or nothing. So basically how the switch works is you go you take one of these lines okay so you just make a break in that line so basically what you're doing is if it'll stay together okay mm. I'm gonna just put a piece of tape since I didn't strip it enough so basically doesn't matter you can put the red on this side or this side so all it is is a break in the wire okay basically say that 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to just strip it. Which my strippers are somewhere. And I'll just do it with my knife. Just to show you. Knife doesn't work good because it pulls off some of the wires. Okay, let me make this longer. I got these. You can use any kind of toggle switch you want. Uh, they're round. Makes it easier to install them. Because you just drill a, I think it was a, a three-quarter inch hole, I think. And if, they, if they're not tight enough, when you push it in, just put some silicone on the back side uh, and let it dry, and it'll be fine. Let me extend these so I can show you a little better. And then I'll show you that, that block. Uh, I forgot what it was called. It's called a, a block strip. It's just for connecting multiple motors, and it's just a better way of connecting it instead of, you know, the wire nuts. I just prefer it that way myself. This is being stubborn. It's got solder. I mean, you can, if you want to really get do it right, you can twist them together and solder them and use shrink wrap. That's a good way to do it, too. And shrink wrap, you know, keeps the moisture out and stuff. And it's very cheap. Yes, you can go to the auto parts and get that. At the hardware store. Okay, so basically, one wire from the motor goes to one power source, okay, of your cord. Okay? And what you do is you make a break in the circuit. Yeah, now it'll stay on there. Okay, so basically it's the same as connecting this to here and you're that's you know the way you hook it up So instead you put the switch on one side. So if you do multiple motors do them all the same Just pick one color of wire and, and connect them all that way. So basically What you have the Wires don't want to work for me today I want them to stay connected so you can visualize it better Rather than just laying it next to it. There we go. Okay. So. It's all you're doing. It's creating. When this is off. That that stops the circuit. The circuit. The circulation. It makes. Electricity makes a circle. Okay. Um, so basically. When you turn it on. It completes the circle. Electricity makes the circle, okay? Now, uh, you can see how that is? It's the same as connecting the two electrical plug, uh, the, the wire, from one end to the other. That's like a direct and using the switch on the cord. Okay. Now... If I can find the other parts. Okay. Okay, this is, these are called little block strips. If you see in my comments, to other people I put them in there uh, the links I haven't figured out this is my like I said my first time doing YouTube but this is how I use these okay this is just maybe it makes it more complicated okay it comes with these things okay so what you do is you put these on one side which they're not going to cooperate of course because they're all screwed down let me Go ahead and do the process. That way you'll understand what I'm doing. So I'll loosen all these up. You can put wires on both sides, but if you got more than what you need. I used my smaller ones. I think there was an 8, a 10, and a 12. And I just used the 8 first, which works great. It's perfect that you need 8, at least 8, to do a 7-cup turner. Because one of them has your electrical wire. It's the way I do it. 
and I, I put all the wires on one side and I put this other piece on here which you can put wires on the side also but just not really necessary okay this is if you're using this you get these on Amazon they were called uh, wire block strips, I believe. But if you look at my comments, it shows the link. I forgot. Um, I'm sure. I think everyone can see all the links. Okay, so you have a red one and a black, but it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Just put one on one and one on the other. Okay. So that's like that. Okay, I'm not going to tighten it down. So what this does, it makes all these connect together. Okay, all right, because these, this one connects to that one, but with this on here, it connects every one of these. So if I put, what I'm going to do, in this case, I'm going to, this is your hot wire, okay, from the cord, one of them. Ah. Okay, I'm going to put, put that on the end. Okay, I'm going to put this on this end. I'm going to tighten it down. This is just like a junction box is all it really is. I mean, it's called a block strip. Uh, okay, so that's hot. Okay. Okay, that goes on there. It, it does get confusing when you use these. Okay. So, so one wire, let me start over here, it, I even confused myself with this, it, using these strips are confusing, so what you need is, okay, hmm, let me think about it here, okay, one wire, Okay, one wire from the motor, from each motor, okay, will go on this side. Say you got six, seven motors. You put one wire on every one, okay? So basically, I will go ahead and connect it up. Just plenty of spaces. Uh, you can put it wherever, I guess. I'm just going to start right here, put that in there. So all of these will be hot because of this thing majiggy here. Okay. Okay, so this needs to go to the other hot wire. Okay. So what you're going to do is it has a little protective thing. Once you're done, you can put it on there. I have to Put this on. I'll go ahead and do it the way it needs to be done. So I have to back all these off. You could twist all of them together. You don't have to use this, but that's a lot of wires if you're doing, you know, six, seven, eight turners. I guess you could do it and then solder it and then put a wire nut or just tape it. However you want. That's up to you. To me, this is just a little safer. So I'm going to put this one in there so that it makes all of these hot. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten two end ones. And you want to tighten all these down, of course, so that you don't have any loose connections from here to here. Because you're using this side. You can put wires in here also. But I, the, the purpose of this is to make them all hot. They're all the same. Okay, so now I'm going to put, which of course, yeah. The other hot wire from the cord, from your extension cord, is going to go on there. So you got one on each side. One on that strip and one on this strip. Okay, so... What you're going to want to do now, this other wire, y'all see that? I'm 
Uh, I had an important phone call, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this real quick. Okay, you don't put this other wire right here, okay? Alright, the reason being is you, you want to use your switch. So the other wire on the motor, you take whichever one, but once you wire, you stick to the same. So if you put the, the red on here, all the black ones will go on here. Okay, so I'm going to put the red one on here. This is for multiple motors. So I will connect that together. All right. Okay. So you got everything hooked up except one wire. Okay. To complete the circuit, basically it's got to do a loop. Okay. So basically it was like connecting this wire to this wire and this wire to this hot wire. Okay. Same thing. It's just the strip's going to give you all the same. It's all powered. So what you do is the other wire off the motor goes to the switch. Okay. But to complete the circuit, you'll connect this wire to the strip for this power source on this side. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's why your switch will work. What it does, it just breaks the circuit. And then it'll come back on. Alright. So, just remember... One wire will go to the one power source on the motor. The other wire goes to the switch. Okay? And then you put the other power source wire. You got two. Put the other one on the other side of the switch. So it makes a circle. You don't want them to go together. Because then you'll, it'll trip a breaker or whatever. Okay? You make a circle. I hope that explains it. Uh, if you wanted... You don't have to do it this way. You could take all the red wires and wire them all together. Okay? Say you're doing three motors. Okay? You put one on here. I can show you how to do it that way. Some people may get too confused because it confuses me using this strip. You just got to think about what you're doing. Okay? There's your power cord. Okay? I'm going to twist it together. It was the same as putting it here. I'm just using these strips. Okay? I'm going to twist it together. But if you do, just twist them. Try to solder it so they don't come loose. Okay, I'm going to take this off of here. Okay, so we'll say you're not using these. You don't have to. I just chose to. I may change it up later because it's more expense. I'm trying to get the expense down. But they're not that much. I think that it came with, uh, there was three, you get two eight, eight terminal and then two 10 terminal and two 12. And these are the 12s, which next time I build one, I'll use that. If I'm doing a single turner, I'll just use shrink wrap. I'll just twist it together. So basically, like I said, what we're doing, one, one wire from the motor goes to one power source. Here's the other power source. Okay. You're not going to do it like this. That's without a switch. That's using the cord. So what you do is you just take the black one and put over here and you could just do all your motors and just twist them all together and solder it okay if you want to do that but you have to have one go through the switch on your power source okay because if you put them together it's going to throw a breaker okay all right well i hope that helped you guys and someone mentioned about the screw let me go over that real quick these are shaft collars half inch inside one inch outside now they have different sizes if you don't want to go with the larger uh, this is one inch uh, my one inch uh, PVC and then you know you drill the hole like I told y'all um, you take this set screw out oh, wrong size it's just called a set screw Take it out. And I don't think it would hold very good using the set screw. I would not trust it. So what I do is these, this is, uh, I couldn't find just a screw because I was at, at uh, a home builder supply place. In a local hardware store, I was able to find just this screw. 
but I had, I didn't go there. I was at, at another place. It, it, the nuts came with it, whatever. Uh, it's quarter by 20 by three quarter inch long. Okay. It's just a quarter inch thread, three quarter inch long with the bevel. And I use the bevel because I wanted to not stick out. You know, it's, it's pretty flush. You can, that, this piece needs to be beveled. I use the oversized drill bit, like a, you can get like a half inch, five eighths, I mean, you know, whatever, bigger drill bit to do this bevel. They do make a, 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 a tool for that. I just don't have one. But there you go. And this will go inside. You screw it to there. You tighten it down. Uh, you can use lock thread on it. But when you, if you crank it tight, it's going to make this crooked inside of here a little bit. So I like to hook it up to my magnet, have the magnet on the end, have the magnet on the end when I shove that in there because it holds it straight. So it's just a little tip. But anyway, I got to get that phone call and uh, hope that explains it. All right, everybody. Till next time. I'm out.